Right, uh, let's move on. Who is our next winner and loser? J.K. Rowling. Should we go with her? She's dared to, spe- uh, to speak up for women once again uh, as Scotland's hate crime law came into effect this week. So, yes, Scotland, of course, the home of Enlightenment, Buckfast, Iron Brew, Battered Mars Bars. Um, they've passed more legislation, more badly written than the Ofcom regulations. So, uh, what do we reckon? J.K. Rowling, is she a hero for speaking up for the safety and integrity of women? Yes, I believe that she is. I mean, I don't actually agree with every single tweet she does. I mean, she sits on um, Twitter X quite a lot and uh, responds to most of all the, you know, the things that are happening in regards to the transgender community. But I do understand where she's coming from as a woman, and she is a woman, and she has the right to her opinion. A lot of women really want to speak out and say certain things, but they're just afraid. They really are afraid to speak up because they don't want the bad reaction of what other people are going to say. And I feel like as a woman there is no reason that having a a transgender individual who still hasn't fully transitioned into your changing space into your your locker room space into your toilets i believe having separate spaces for transgender women is fair to ask but would you want someone who has fully transitioned in your toilet i believe that it's fine if you fully transition and you're not half and half what's the difference apart from apart from the obvious the, the difference is you're obviously not a threat to women and children. Why? You're still, a, you're still a biological man. No, because you, you're not going to be yes, able they are. to... Yes, they are. They're still a biological yeah. man. You're not, in regards to a penis is the weapon, OK? And as a woman, I will be threatened by somebody who has a penis in my changing space. Once you're fully transitioned, I'm more than happy to accept you as you are. If you say your name is Sarah, I will call you Sarah. At the end of the day, that's your prerogative. Right. I'm going to respect you. But if you have your penis still, I feel uncomfortable for you to be in my changing spaces and in my toilets and that's what I believe. Justin, speaking as a trans woman, how do you feel about it? Uh, <laughs> um, I just, I, I agree with Precious as well and I think what you were saying with what difference does it make, it does make a difference. Make You've got a 13 year old girl in there and there's a fully grown male genitalia, exactly. that way round. You might not think it matters in terms of there's a man looking at the women but I've been, I've been in change room, there's been a bloke you know, on the school holidays, had my stepson changed him for swimming. There's a bloke naked. I'm in the mail change room thinking, oh, come on, mate. What, you've got a problem with, with blokes? No, not got a problem, but I thought this guy looked a bit, oh, I don't know. He was, <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was flashing it around like a lighthouse. He wanted everyone to see him. And I was like, oh, come on, mate. You aren't, you're not technically doing anything wrong, but I sort of. It's a bit. I, I, I think just think, I just think there has to so. be rules and regulations in place for women's safety and children. When you're in an adult space, because I'm all about having fun, I love to go and see drag queens, I love all of that kind of fun stuff, in an adult space. This is a public space where children are and women are. It's a totally different situation. You're exposing children to my, who have never seen this type of thing before. I just don't know what um, having fully transitioned makes to the debate, though, Diane. Well, because the um, person well, has a vagina I, and that doesn't yeah, but they, but they, expose they, but your still, child to something that it's never seen so before. So it's just the physical act of seeing is, that, the yes, genitalia. because it's, then you're questioning your child is having to question their parents it's like, and their parents might not have necessarily right, let's, wanted let's them have to do that. I just think it's a really lovely idea because going back to JK Rowling, I, I think she's a winner um, and I she love the idea that when you said she like seems to spend a lot of time on X, you're yes. right and what I love about that is I kind of wish she'd gone like full dirtbag. I kind of wish that JK Rowling, instead of being the beautiful woman she is, I kind of wish that once she'd written Harry Potter she just let everything go. I kind of wish she was like, like morbidly obese covered in chips, like just on Twitter her all the time, and every time somebody wrote back to her, she just went, wrote Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because I, I mean, think she's much, got that power. Yeah. She is on Twitter a lot. I mean, she's <laughs> on, she's replying to every single tweet about, you know, obviously... I think she's fighting yeah, the she's good fight for women she is, yeah, everywhere. She is. I mean, she has a good point to make. I'm not disagreeing with it at all, but I do believe there is a difference between somebody who still has their penis mm. and somebody who has fully transitioned. What's because there is actresses out there that are not embracing necessarily being transgender because they don't want to lean into the fact that they are just going to be transgender. There is different <laughs> variations of obviously being... You, your opinion and my opinion is obviously different, but I do believe as a woman, I'm the one that has to deal with that. On the other side, when there is females transi- transitioning well, into men, you don't have to necessarily I, I have, I have to deal. Stuff. I have to deal with the child aspects. There's a right. creeping so transgender creeping into so schools. I've got agree. two young kids. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm fearful for my little boy going to school and coming home and saying, I want to be addressed with, you know, he, they, she, Nobody them. Nobody wants no, to transition so they that. can use a male toilet. Right, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I've been to some Weatherspoon's toilets and thought about changing my pronouns so I could use something where I could actually sit down.
<laughs> but what's wrong with male toilets, Justin? Well, some but they're pretty not clean. Gross. I mean, Probably we go to different places, mate. And that's another say. thing. I don't oh, believe I transgenders should be in male toilets either. I believe they should have their own spaces. I don't wish any harm or malice on them or at all. I really want them to be safe. OK. But I should have a choice as well as a woman. I'm, I'm, I've been talking about trans people all day and all week and all month and all year. I'm getting a bit, um, bit bored of it, actually. I'm a bit transed out. So.